Sutra. Maitreya Bodhisattva arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, I remember when, as many compass ago as there are fine moths of dust, a Buddha named Light of Sun, Moon, and Lamb appeared in the world. Under that Buddha I left the home life. Yet I was deeply committed to worldly fame and liked to fraternize with people of good family. Commentary Maitreya Bodhisattva is also Ajita. Maitreya is his family name. Ajita his given name. Maitreya means compassionate clan. Tsu Chu. Ajita means invincible. Wu Neng Sheng. Perhaps you have seen images of a fat monk in the dining hall in Buddhist temples. Maitreya is that monk. Maybe this Bodhisattva liked to eat good things and got fat that way. He also liked to laugh, but his laugh was not a cause of ha ha ha. Rather, he always had a big smile on his face. He enjoyed playing with children, and so the children were all fond of him in turn. He was always surrounded by them. After Shakyamuni Buddha retires as the teaching host of this world, Maitreya Bodhisattva will take over the position. Shakyamuni Buddha is known as the Red Young Buddha. When Maitreya Bodhisattva becomes a Buddha, he will be the White Young Buddha. This means that when Maitreya Bodhisattva comes to the world as a Buddha, People's blood will be white, not red. People are red-blooded now because of the red young Buddha. When will Maitreya Bodhisattva come into the world? It sounds like a long time when you describe it, but it is not actually so long because from a Bodhisattva's point of view, it is but the blink of an eye. How long a time will it be? At present, people's average lifespan is about 60 years. Every 100 years, people's lifespan decreases one year and their average height decreases on one inch. When these have decreased to the point that people's lifespan is around 30 years, there will be a pestilence. People will die very quickly from the disease, even to the point that they will be dead an hour after they contract it. One may call for a doctor, but the doctor will die along with the rest. 50% of the entire population will succumb to the disease. When the lifespan of the remaining 50% reaches 25 years, there will be another calamity. Why must these people die? Because by that time, people's minds will be thoroughly decadent. There will be too many bad people, so heaven and earth will have to eliminate these incorrigibles. They will be unacceptable and will have to be traded in for better ones. In the first block, then 50% of the people will die when the average lifespan has declined to 25 years. There will be a devastating fire. Not only will people all over the earth be burned, but even those in the first Diana heavens will perish. Fire burns the first Diana. All over the world, the seas will be burned dry. Uncountable people will die in the fire. Even so, some people will escape the Holocaust. When the lifespan of the remaining people reaches about 20 years, there will be a disaster of water. Water drowns the second year now. When the lifespan of those who are left is just about 20, there will be a disaster of wind, which will blow through the third year now. Heaven, wind rips up the third year now. So it is said, in the six design heavens, all the five sides of the cave. Above in the third Diana heavens is a disaster of wind. Even if people cultivate and reach the heaven of neither thought nor non thought, it's not as good as going to the western land and coming back again. The six desire heavens are the ones we see overhead. 
the heaven of the four kings, the Chajashimsha heaven, the Sunyama heaven, the Tushita heaven, the heaven of the bliss from transformations, and the heaven of the comfort gained from others' transformations. Beings in these six bizarre heavens have to endure the five sides of decay. One, their floral crowds wilt. The heavenly beings are crowded with flowers. They do not make the crowns. The crowns naturally appear to adorn them. But when the gods are about to die, what do you suppose happens? The flowers fall. Before the heavenly beings' time comes to die, the flowers remain ever fresh. So their clothes get dirty. The clothes worn by the gods and goddesses don't need to be washed, unlike the clothes we people wear, which must be washed after being worn just once. The heavenly beings' clothes don't get dirty until the five sides of decay appear. This is the result of karmic retribution. The filth on their clothing comes from their karmic obstacles. Why do some people smell very bad when they are on the verge of death? Some smell bad even before it's time to die. That is also a result of karma. Three, the armpits sweat. The gods don't perspire like people do. They never sweat until they are on the verge of dying. Four, their entire body smell ordinarily. The heavenly beings emit a sweet fragrance from their person. When they are about to die, however, they smell bad. Usually, though, they don't have to do themselves with perfume because they naturally smell good. Five, they cannot sit still. They can no longer sit like they used to. They keep breathlessly getting up and down as if they were crazy. In the midst of this flurry, they get confused, and as soon as that happens, they die. They fall into this wound. Once. The three disasters are over. People's lifespan will decrease to ten years. At that time, people will only reach the, reach the height of the dogs of the present day. They will be completely corrupt and act like horses, cows, and pigs in that they will have desire from the moment they are born. They will also be able to speak as soon as they are born. They will be capable of sexual desire because. People's nature flows in emotion. Emotion flows into desire. By that time, people will have totally abandoned themselves to desire. They will marry by the time they are two or three years old, have children, and die by the time they are ten years old. But when the lifespan of people reaches only ten years, an increase will begin. The proportions will be the same in every century a year. Will be added to their lifespan, and an age to their average height. It will increase, increase until the lifespan of people reaches it, eighty-four thousand years. Then a decrease will begin again, and when the lifespan has decreased to eighty thousand years, Maitreya Bodhisattva will come into the world and accomplish Buddhahood. Some religious sects say that. Maitreya Bodhisattva has already come to become a Buddha. These are words spoken in a dream. Basically, those people don't understand the Buddha drama. Maitreya's coming will happen in a certain way. You can't just explain it any old way. When Maitreya Bodhisattva was cultivating the way, he was always seeking advantage from situations, climbing on conditions, as he said in Chinese. He was always. Hobnobbing and fraternizing with the rich, so also he and Shakyamuni Buddha cultivated together at the same time. Maitreya Bodhisattva didn't become a Buddha as quickly as Shakyamuni Buddha did, since he was always climbing on conditions. I certainly believe that he liked to take advantage of situations. How else would he have gotten so fat? His fat. Because he liked to eat good food, he didn't get that way just by laughing. He arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, "I remember when, as many compas ago, as there are fine moles of dust, a Buddha named Light of Sun, Moon, and Lamp 
appeared in the world. Under that Buddha, I left the home life, yet I was deeply committed, committed to one with fame and lied to fraternize with people of good family. I was intent on getting a good reputation. People of good family refers to large families with lots of money. Every country has its wealthy people, and wherever Maitreya Bodhisattva went, he paid no attention to the poor, but went to the homes of the rich to exchange greetings and flatter them. Everywhere he went, he also advertised for himself. It was only this way when he first started to cultivate. But you shouldn't think of Maitreya Bodhisattva as someone who climbs on conditions because he eventually stopped doing it. The next passage refers to the time when he had already stopped. Sutra, then the world honored one taught me to cultivate consciousness, only concentration, and I entered that samadhi. For many ends, I have made use of that samadhi as I performed this for as many Buddhas as their sense in the Ganges. My seeking for worldly name and fame ceased completely and never recurred. Commentary At present, our desire on the, to climb on conditions and take advantage of situations had not ceased. My Chaya Bodhisattvas ceased long ago. We should study the way in which he stopped climbing on conditions instead of imitating his former bad habits. Then the world honored one, that is the Buddha of light, the Buddha light of sun, moon, and lamp, taught me to cultivate consciousness, only concentration. The three realms come only from the mind. The mind that dramas arise only from consciousness. That is the principle of the consciousness, only concentration. I entered that samadhi, and for many ends I have made use of that samadhi as I performed deeds for as many Buddhas as their sense in the Ganges. I made offerings to as many Buddhas as their fine grains of sand in the Ganges River. My seeking for worldly name and fame ceased completely and never recurred. Both my desire to be famous and my habits of catering to the rich and well-born are all gone now. Now I don't climb on conditions and I don't seek name or profit. Sutra, when burning lamp Buddha appeared in the world, I finally accomplished the unsurpassed, wonderfully perfect samadhi of consciousness. Commentary My Chaya Bodhisattva says, When burning lamp Buddha appeared in the world, I finally accomplished the unsurpassed, wonderfully perfect samadhi of consciousness. He realized in person a perfect penetration that was supremely subtle the concentration power of the mind consciousness. Sutra, I went on until to the ends of emptiness. On the lens of the first common, whether pure or defined, existent or non-existent, were transformations appearing from within my own mind. Commentary, I went on until to the ends of emptiness. On the lens of the first common, whether pure or defined, existent or non-existent, were transformations appearing from within my own mind. Even the disappearance of emptiness and the pure lands of the first commons, as well as the impure ones, came from my own mind. They were transformations of my Chaya Bodhisattva's consciousness samadhi. Sutra, world honored one, because I understand consciousness only thus, the nature of consciousness reveals limitless first commons. Now I have received the prediction that I will be the next to take the Buddha's place. Commentary Maitreya Bodhisattva addressed Shakyamuni Buddha, wound on earth one, because I understand consciousness only thus the doctrine is explained above the nature of consciousness reveals. As transformations of the mind consciousness, the myths thus come once. It manifests countless Buddhas. Now I have received the prediction that I will be the next to take the Buddha's place. I have received a prediction of Buddhahood, and in the future, 
When Shakyamuni Buddha retires, I will come to the Saha world and become a Buddha. Sutra, the Buddha asks about perfect penetration. I was intent upon the contemplation that the ten directions come only from consciousness. When the conscious mind is perfect and bright, one enters the perfection of the real. One leaves behind reliance on others and attachment to incessant calculating and attains the patience with non-production of dramas. This is the foremost method. Commentary The Buddha asks about perfect penetration. I was intent upon the contemplation that the ten directions come only from consciousness. Everything in the ten directions is created from the conscious mind. When the conscious mind is perfect and bright, one enters the perfection of the real. This means wisdom. One leaves behind the aspect of the nature which involves reliance on others, and that nature's incessant calculating and attains the patience with the non-production of dharmas. This is the foremost method. There are three aspects of the nature. Reliance on others, incessant calculating, and perfection of the will. From the perfection of the will, people give rise to reliance on others and then to incessant calculating. As an analogy, we can say that the perfection of the real nature is like hemp. The aspect which involves reliance on others is like the hemp when seen as a rope. The incessant calculating of the nature is to see the rope as a snake. For instance, at night, people, some, someone might see a rope made of hemp and mistake it for a snake and become frightened. That would be the function of his incessant calculating, which mistook the rope for the snake and reached, reacted to it. He became attached to the idea that it was a snake when, in fact, it wasn't. When he realizes it is a rope, he has recognized his nature that involves reliance on others. When he figures out that what the rope is made of, then he's gotten back to the perfection of the real nature. He sees it for what it really is. When Maitreya Bodhisattva cultivated the concentration of consciousness only, he became enlightened. In this passage, he refers to the three aspects of the nature when he says, One enters the perfection of the real and leaves behind reliance on others and incessant calculating. Sutra Dharma brings great strength together with 52 bodhisattvas of similar rank, arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, Commentary Dharma brings great strength and Kuan Yin Bodhisattva was son of Amitabha Buddha when he was a will turning king in a past life. Once Amitabha Buddha accomplished Buddhahood, these two Bodhisattvas served him. They are his daily companions on one his left, one on his left, one on his right. When Amitabha Buddha retires as teaching hostel of the western land of ultimate bliss. In the first half of the night, the drama will become extinct, and in the second half of the same night, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva will accomplish Buddhahood there in the land of ultimate bliss. When Kuan Yin Bodhisattva retires as a resident Buddha of the western land, great strength Bodhisattva will become a Buddha in the same way that Kuan Yin Bodhisattva did. There, in the land of ultimate bliss, great strength bodhisattva is also known as attained great strength Tiladashi. He is all so powerful that if he raises his hand, moves his foot, or moves his head, the great earth quakes and trembles. When he walks out about, the earth shakes. Dhamma prince means bodhisattva. Together with 52 bodhisattvas of similar rank, he arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, These fifty-two Bodhisattvas represent the ten faiths, the ten dwellings, the ten practices, the ten transferences, 
the ten grounds and the levels of equal enlightenment and wonderful enlightenment, the fifty-two stages of Bodhisattva practice. Sutra. I remember when, as many ages ago as the ascents in the Ganges, a Buddha called Limitless Light appeared in the world. In that same era, there were twelve successive thus come ones. The last was called Light Surpassing the Sun and Moon. That Buddha taught me the Buddha recitation Samadhi. Commentary. I remember when, as many ages ago, as there are sands in the Ganges, a Buddha called Limitless Light appeared in the world. In that same era, there were twelve successive thus come ones. The last was called Light Surpassing the Sun and Moon. During that one era, twelve Buddhas appeared in the world. The twelve was named Light Surpassing the Sun and Moon. That Buddha taught me the Buddha recitation Samadhi. He taught me to recite Namo Amitabha Buddha. Amitabha means limitless light and limitless life. The first Buddha of that era was named Limitless Light. Was it the same Buddha Amitabha Buddha we know? Probably not. Because the recent Amitabha Buddha accomplished Buddhahood ten kampas ago, but their names were the same. A lot of Buddhas have the same name, just as we people often have first or last name that are the same. Sutra. Suppose there were a person who always remembers someone else, but the someone else he remembers has entirely forgotten about him. If two such people were to meet, even if They were to see each other. They would not take notice. They would not recognize each other. Commentary: Suppose there were a person who always remembers someone else, but the someone else he remembers as he has entirely forgotten about him. This is an analogy. There are two people, one of whom is always recollecting the other, while the other never remembers the former. Perhaps they are relatives or friends. These two people represent、um, the Buddhas and living beings. The Buddhas are always thinking about us. They are mindful of us living beings, but we living beings never remember the Buddhas. We may happen to study a little of the Buddha Dharma, but we are not very clear about what's being said. So we exclaim, "The Buddha Dharma is really wonderful." But we don't know how wonderful it actually is, and that is even more wonderful. Why are the Buddhas mindful of living beings? It is because they see that all living beings are of the same substance. The Buddhas regard all living beings as their past fathers and mothers, and as future Buddhas. So the Buddha said, "All living beings on the great earth have the Buddha nature, or can become Buddhas." There is not a single living being who cannot become a Buddha. It is this very point that makes doctrines of Buddhism the most lofty and all-encompassing. That is why the Buddhas advocate not killing, not stealing, not committing sexual misconduct, not lying, and not taking intoxicants. Maintaining these five precepts is a way of showing one's regard for all living creatures. Because the Buddha sees that all living beings are one in substance with himself, he wants to teach and transform them to take all living beings across to the accomplishment of Buddhahood. We living beings come into this world and renounce the rules while we grasp at the branches. We forget the fundamental matters, turn our backs on enlightenment, and unite with the dust, the the wearisome mundane world. That is why we forget the Buddhas and never remember to rem- to be mindful of them.